Hi, I'm Jeska and my biggest fear is Bluetooth. So this makes this a really great topic for Halloween. In this video, we are going to look into the Bluetooth stack that is in iOS, but the lower part. So how the Bluetooth daemon is interacting with the kernel. Also, we will look into all the tools that Apple has there. If you want to develop a Bluetooth app to debug it, to view all the packets. If you haven't seen the previous Reusing Short videos, I can recommend to you watching the one about the iOS kernel first. Apple made a special website for developers who struggle with Bluetooth, like the person integrating the next IoT toilet seat into a Bluetooth app. And for this, they have a new feature since iOS 13, which is the packet logger, which you can enable with the debug profile for Bluetooth. So you can download the profile on the website and then airdrop it to your phone or download it directly and then still need to activate it in the settings. And afterwards, you can get the packet logger from the additional tools for Xcode, download them as well and use the packet logger from the hardware folder. And with this, you can now start a new iOS trace and would see all the packets that are sent from any application and also everything else that is received by the iPhone or sent by the iPhone. And you can analyze this in detail. Apple only made this tooling available for macOS, but on Linux, you can compile libimobile device and then get the latest version, which has a Bluetooth packet logger included. And you can record traces either to files or directly send them to Wireshark to view them live, which is pretty much the same experience as you would get, but on Linux. And you can there also define your own dissectors and reprogram everything for your proprietary protocol. A configuration profile contains multiple settings, which are then propagated to the subsystems of iOS. In the case of the Bluetooth daemon, most of the settings are applied on startup of the Bluetooth daemon. So you have to restart Bluetooth in order to get the Bluetooth debug profile running. And for other profiles, it might even be the case that you have to restart iOS to apply them. Now let's take a look into the profile that we just installed. The first setting that you find is called enable private data. And it means that the syslog entries will now also contain sensitive information. For example, your MAC address is no longer hidden with a private tag, but you can actually see this in the logs. And below we can see even more settings such as firmware stream logging or enabling core dumps. Another really interesting thing that is iOS specific is that we can see LMP. So LMP is a link management protocol that is usually only on the lower parts of the stack, which means it's processed inside the firmware and replied inside the firmware. But you can forward this from the firmware to the host to view those layer two packets as well. This is a proprietary Broadcom feature, but it's really, really helpful depending on what you want to debug. The configuration strings that we see in the Bluetooth debug profile can also be found in the Bluetooth daemon. So you can also figure out if there are some flags that are not set in the profile but might be interesting to enable. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi packet logging are implemented inside a kernel driver. You can look into the driver hierarchy with IORAC and you can see that there is a Bluetooth device and then it has a Bluetooth debug with a core capture data stream. You would find a similar hierarchy for Wi-Fi, but it has multiple of those data streams for packet logging. If you want to know more about how to use core capture and how it's structured also on macOS, you can look into the paper from David. But how is this implemented in the kernel? Well, there is an IOCAD driver and it has four exposed methods for core dumps, starting logging, stopping logging and dumping logs. When you want to know which functions are callable directly from user space, search for S methods and they are just a structure where you have the function, plus some metadata defining which argument types can be passed to it. And only something that is an exposed S method can be called from user space. Everything else inside the driver cannot be called directly. We can now search system wide and binaries for BT debug to figure out which binaries are using it. And first of all, we find a Bluetooth daemon. There's also something in the shared cache. And when we double check this, we would find that this belongs to the exposure notification framework, but we are interested in the Bluetooth daemon here. When we look where exactly the BT debug string is inside the Bluetooth daemon binary, we would find that it is used to create an IO service. 
And this means that we can now call the four expose functions in the kernel driver from the Bluetooth daemon, for example, to enable and disable logging. Once the BT debug IO service is created, it is only referenced from a struct indirectly, so this is a bit annoying and you have to look for a bit until you find everything. But searching from here, you can search for cross references or also generic IO kit calls and then define function names for everything that you're interested in. And for example, here is a function that disables logging using the BT debug IO service. And all of this is, of course, a bit of manual work, but it is really similar in all the IOKit drivers. So you can do the same thing, no matter if it's the Bluetooth daemon or another daemon, to figure out how it is talking to the kernel and which functions are called and also name them. Now, I talked a lot about debugging, but I haven't answered how traffic is actually handled by the Bluetooth daemon and drivers below. Dennis answers a lot about this in his thesis about the iOS Bluetooth daemon as well as other Apple-based stacks. In the following, I'm going to cover the most important basics to understand how it works on recent iPhones. Since the iPhone XS, the Bluetooth chip has PCI Express and for this, two new libraries were introduced to have the Bluetooth daemon speaking to those PCI Express-based Bluetooth chips. The libraries are called Apple Converge Transport and AC IPC BTLib. The IOKit driver used by the Bluetooth daemon is called Apple Converged IPC User Client and similar to the debug driver, it is exposing some S methods. If you want to look into a code example that calls the user space libraries directly to create a user client and interact with the chip, you can take a look into the internal blue source code for PCI Express based iPhones. This code was written by Robert for his thesis. Again, let's use the method of a system wide grab to see where the Apple Converge Transport library is being used. And first of all, we would find that the Bluetooth daemon is using it, but also Bluetooth is using it. Both of them talk to the Bluetooth chip, but the Bluetooth daemon is active most of the time for sending packets and the Bluetooth is a helper tool that helps, for example, setting up firmware and also sends the chip to deep sleep. When we trace both of them with Frida, we would see that Bluetooth is inactive for most of the time, but sometimes just wakes up for a short moment doing some task, for example, when toggling Bluetooth off and on. Bluetooth is a daemon running in the background, but when we turn off Bluetooth, then we can also start our own Bluetooth and then we have a command line interface where we can send commands to the chip. So for example, here I'm sending a get version command to the chip directly with HCI and I get back the version that locally runs on the chip. But there's one thing, because the packet logger is part of the Bluetooth daemon, I wouldn't see this in the packet logger, so I have to look up in the Bluetooth specification what all the fields mean and parse it by hand. So now you have seen how iOS daemons like the Bluetooth daemon or Bluetooth interact with the iOS kernel, and the scheme is pretty much the same for most daemons and most kernel drivers, so you can also apply this knowledge now to reverse engineer any other daemon as well.